In April 2010, three months after the tragic earthquake in Port-au-Prince, a team of nine individuals from the World Surgical Foundation came to join the Army of Volunteers doing relief work in Haiti. We joined forces with CURE for this trip, and they have a, uh, access to a hospital which is fully equipped by them. The need is so great here. I've done mission trip one, once before, but I did it because of um, uh, World Surgical Foundation and CURE uh, was aware of the program. I retired and I just decided I had to do something to give back. So I think if you come to a country like this with grand hopes of fixing something big, you'll be sorely disappointed. But if you come knowing that every little tiny thing you do makes a difference in one, in one life, then it's totally rewarding. Problems that we're seeing are more chronic complications of the initial trauma. All the surgeries that were done in the first week were done emergently, like a MASH unit. Um, things done quickly just to put the fractures together to take care of the next person. And that left the complications of um, fractures that aren't in perfect alignment, uh, fractures that aren't healing, uh, fractures that have, uh, were treated with hardware that went through growth plates, uh, which can cause long-term residuals, and the most important by far is infections. We're seeing lots and lots of infections. These were done in emergency situations, in operating rooms, in the field, and we're seeing the biggest problems now, I think. The people who have been able to receive medical care here through the volunteer efforts have gotten something that, to my knowledge, they were not able to obtain previously. The only way they could get care here was to have paid for it, and most people can't pay for it. The government has decreed that they could have free medical care for the next three months, starting after the earthquake. Now it's three months later and they've decreed that for another three months, at some point, it will stop. So they did skin grafts in her armpit and held that out. They extended her elbow and skin grafted that, so. Well, it was a pretty easy case in terms of an anesthetic, but uh, afterwards I went up and saw her uh, just to check on her to see, you know, how she was recovering from anesthesia. She was quite happy. Through a translator, she was saying it feels so much better to have the iron off her arm. Now, she wasn't quite as happy when the physical therapist got to her, but, you know, that will all be worthwhile uh, for us. So, that, you know, that's, that's one of the more rewarding cases that we've done so far. The words can't describe seeing the disaster. Seeing the people who have a past that is by reputation dismal, seem to be ready to walk forward into the future. What we want to tell everybody who watches is not to forget Haiti. Uh, Haiti needed our help before the earthquake. The earthquake greatly multiplied the need and it's not going to be resolved for months, actually for years to come. So don't forget it. Please help the World Surgical Foundation continue to do its work all over the world. Your generous contributions will enable us to serve many more people